Oh, I should have left all the horrible noises I was making in. Anyway, I am Nax. This is the Legendary Behemoth YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah. I, well, there's no use in keeping it a secret anymore considering I'm on the title screen, but it's guide time. Getting started in Final Fantasy XI. <clears throat> First, you want to create your character. Your choices are humans in a really crappy default resolution. And they're um, nothing special. Balanced, whatnot. And you get your elves. Oh, you can see the stats right on the screen. I forget you can't see me and I gestured to them. So brooding. Much religion. Such, such elf. No sex for elves! They don't really like it when you go into the elfy city and cast deodorize and every but man her ears are huge. Like not speaking of the like giant giraffe necks, but damn lady. Yeah, they got good dex, vitality, pretty good strength. None of the stats matter. Uh, it's a potato. A brown nosed potato. That's why they got the brown noses right there. Nobody wants to be a potato. A lady potato! Difference between the males and the females being... Eh. Ah, uh, your default cat people. Meow, motherfucker. Speaking of sexless, they reproduce through reincarnation. No wonder they're so pissed off all the time. I mean, look how angry he is. I've got no penis. Grrrg. Damn it all. Damn it all to... Whatever the Final Fantasy version of Hell is. So, once you're through this screen, yeah, you just make your cat girl. Of course you're going to. You know you are. And you pick your hairstyle from the many hairstyles that are... Kind of junky. You only get two choices of color. What? She's coughing up a hairball there. Either she was doing her crunches or. Girl, girl, you gotta stop licking yourself so much. I mean, damn. So, of course, you're gonna make the cat girl. I'm gonna make her small. Why not? Starting as a warrior because I'm gonna be a dragoon. And name. Let's see. Can I have. No, I cannot. What are the odds my name will be available? Probably slim to none. You're going to be renaming yourself a million times. Yep, thought so. Okay, well... Let's... I can't do a caps in the middle, can I? Nope. Named after my cat in Final Fantasy XIV. What? That's a thing? What? Uh, I don't know. What? Nothing? Is that going to be a thing, too? Probably. All right, so, your three starting nations. If you start in Sandoria and you're an elf, you get a Sandorian ring. I forget what that does, but... Eh, more crap to clutter up your inventory that's severely limited? Republic of Bastok. If you start here as a Hume or a Galka, you get the Bastokin, Bastokin, Best... Bastard ring. Bastard land ring. Which, again, I don't know what it does. It does something... And if you're a cat or potato and you start in Windurst, you get the Windurst ring. Yeah, I don't care. I need a character in Sandoria. Register yourself and begin play. That is what you want to do. Now it's going to do all this. Player data registered. And you're going to get your introduction to your creaky chair. Sorry. I will uncreak. I will try to uncreak. There we go. I need a new chair. And of course you're gonna get holy shit, that's loud. Yeah, I forgot about that. You're gonna get your ears blown out for a little while. I don't know if you can hear me over the music at this point, but Oh my god, why? Text on screen. 
for way too long. You will read it. No, not the elves. No. Yes, reign of glory, heroes. Something, something. Why is my mouse doing that? Stop that. There we go. The sun has set on the kingdom of knights. <laughs> Christ, that's loud. So, by now, your ears should be bleeding. If not your eyes, because of the 30 frames per second we're locked at. Man, this poor guy's so bad off, his name is Average. I don't know why they spelled it wrong, but hey. And here you can see the fountain, that I still don't know if you can hear me, that is based clearly on a penis. And there you can see a fence, which is based clearly on a penis. And a tree, which is based clearly on a tree, of course. What do you think I was going to say? Oh my god, that's loud. Ah, uh, Thor's balls. Begun, rise to glory, blah blah blah, never before. Resolved to not let anything stand in your way, any walls a cat door if you cat hard enough. Boosh! Meow, motherfucker. Then you will look confused for several minutes when a giant man will be grumble at you. Oh, I could not care. Well, yeah. once you're done not caring about this, you'll have an opportunity to change your settings, which you desperately will need to do. Halt! I must inspect your pants for anomalies. For I am a knight. And an elf. I mean, what? Nothing? And there you see another elf in shining armor that's clearly based on a penis. I'll stop now. And Lady Shorthairs has sent them on their way. Such clank. Much jangle. <laughs> Oh, Blark, why? New recruit, good luck! I think he wants to bang her. I still don't know if you can hear me over the fucking music. My ears, they bleed. Yeah, he definitely wants to bang her. Badoof, badoof. Oh my fuck. Why? Okay, give me the thing, let's... Yeah, okay. Mountain Dew. So once your ears are done bleeding and you've fixed the atrocity that is that, you're going to put your inventory sort on. On? I don't know what type 1 and type 2 do. Sort item by name, sort items by category. I don't really give a shit. If you give a shit, you got that going on. Yeah, that's in the menu. This is the first page you see. It's on the second page. Configure. And in here, you're going to want to do some other shit. Let's see. Windows, nope, log, nope, miscellaneous. Sure, why not? Character information. I don't know what that is. Shadows high. Da, 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 da. Okay. You're going to want to ignore all that bullshit going on in the bottom. 16 by 9. Thank you. Assignments. Da, 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 da. Don't care. Miscellaneous 3, weapon effects style lock, area display, that's for geomancy and whatnot. 
Oh, displays the, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Party icon display, timer display, you definitely want that on icon display. That's, that is entirely up to you. Miscellaneous four, effects, I don't care. Mouse camera. Let's see, third person camera. Inverted. There we go, that's better. On screen panning off, because if you play with the mouse and keyboard, why would you play with the mouse and keyboard? This game, you just play with the keyboard. If you play with the mouse, it'll wibble you around when your mouse hits the edge of the screen, which is stupid. So, so I turn that off. Global, I think everything's already set. Chat language. Language filter, you're going to want to turn that off, because then you'll miss all the fucks and shits and dicks in the chat. And, you know, there's always dicks in the chat. And just to wrap things up in your bizarre thing, edit comment. This is what people will see when they check on you. So you're going to want to put something, you know, about the jobs you have leveled in here. About your status as a newbie to the game or not a newbie to the game. About all sorts of things. Or even just an inspirational quote from one of your favorite YouTubers. Well, I shut up my joke, now didn't it? It's also not the right key. And there we have it. I'm going to hell if only for this video. Oh, it's where's the zoom in thingy? That's not it. I know there's a button where I can Nope. I know there's a button to there it is. That's better. Zoom in a little bit. And they gave you an adventurer coupon, which you're supposed to take to some asshole. It's on the map. Let's check the map. There's the map on your thingy. Zoom on out here. There they are in Victory Square. So you're supposed to go to one of these. Who the hell am I supposed to go to? Adventure coupon, give it to uh, in Victory Square. This person. Let's open up trade, adventure coupon, and throw it at them. Aim for the testicles, if you can. Check the map if you get lost. Here's the thing. You'll meet a guards woman named... Yeah, not even going to try at the Westgate, which is southwest from here. I would have figured it would be somewhere in the direction of west, yes. Which is pretty much where we just came from. And this person will run you through the preamble, basically, your beginners, whatnot. They'll also give you a sword if you started as a warrior. They don't start you with your weapon equipped, of course. So let's see, I want to talk to this person here. Greetings. I never leave. I am here forever. Let's go to average and have him cast Signet. We had first place in our hand. I don't care. I don't care about your life story, dude. Just cast Signet on me. And you're going to want to go back to this nub and get, dip, 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 talk to you. This is a breeze. And she will give you her meat. You should make sure you... Well, that's... Doesn't seem right. Anyway. She will give you her meat, and you're going to want to put it in your mouth. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. When a stranger offers you something, just put it in your mouth. Don't, don't really. Just don't. Don't really do that. Do that. And then you gotta go smack some monsters around until you learn how to make a, use a weapon skill. Whee! But you might wanna first do some city stuff like register the home points. Now, from the home points, you can travel to another home point. Or set this as your home point. I've said home point a lot. And of course, you got records of eminence, which you definitely wanna start up from the quest portion of the second page of the menu. 
Tutorial basics, yes. Yes, indeedly, because there won't be anything else available. And now you're in a cutscene with this person. And boy, are these weird. Shiny thing. Pick it up. You want the shiny thing. Everybody wants the shiny thing. It is delicious shiny thing. Okay, right. something, something. Records of Eminence. Yeah, Records of Eminence are just kind of like daily quests and general quests that you can do to get rewards, like experience points, money, items. I'm not sure if there's any actually money involved in it, but hey. You get to have a creepy, floaty doll follow you around. Something about an astral pancake. I don't know. Something, something. Yep. The hairs on the back of your neck will rise. <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. And now you can do records of eminence. And somebody's grumbling about some shit. That's your first step forward. You get some meat jerky, apparently. Vanquish birds is something. And of course, we've broken the music. Vanquish birds is your current objective, but you also get more tutorial stuff. Fields of Valor heal without using magic. Vanquish one enemy, stepping it into an ambuscade, which is... I don't know why that's in this, but okay. Calling forth an alter ego and exploring the trove. What the fuck's the trove? Oh, that's new shit that starts started today. And of course, you got your synthesis. You got to start to talk to the guild masters, obtain some questy things, artifact, armor, level cap increases, storage expansions, weapon skills, rhapsodies of vanity, L missions, for the various what's it called and what's it's. And of course, you got your combat stuff: fishing, crafting, harvesting, content achievements. Anniversary, other, etc. Why well, you can get some real quick stuff right here by taking that and going to get Signet again. Which will give you some experience points. Give me Signet. So that I might have experience points. Now they also give you Sparks of Eminence, which you can spend on stuff at the Lady. Now I'm level two. Yay. And let's see. What else do you want to do as soon as you start? Well, you're going to want to get around your hometown. Basically. Of course, in Sandoria, there's some stuff to do. Some home points to get. And objective lists, tutorial, synthesis. In this town, there is the Carpenter's Guild, there is a Blacksmith's Guild, and there is a Tanner's Guild. So I'll just pop those on and go see all the guilds once we have this home point registered. The guild is right around the corner. Super easy to find. And you go in to here, this is the Tanner's Guild, and you talk to that person there with the weird name. Sign up. They'll tell you some things and give you some crap. And you have achieved the thing! Yay! I have achieved a thing. And I've gotten lost. And ran into a person. And hey, leveling really quick without even actually going outside. Wow. I had a thought in my brain, too. So that's 750. I wonder if I can get enough to spend on some stuff. And then have a little bit of spendy dosh for some of the event stuff. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. And of course, there's always going to be a bunch of people at the auction house. That's the auction house here in the southern Sandoria. 
We're going to be spending a lot of time at the auction houses. There's another home point. There's another newbie person. With an unpronounceable name. I shouldn't talk. Oh, I should not talk. Anywho, I'm going to anyway. So... Here's this guy, which you can't use until your character is 45 days old. And even then, you probably want to use very sparingly because, well... I had words in my brain, but now they're gone. Here's the other home point in this town. I do you believe that's all of them? Then you can pop into your Mog House, get to your Mog House tutorial out of the way. While you're here. Which is probably a good thing. Wow, that's actually pretty cheap for being power leveled. Which, uh, I hate to say, you probably won't need. You, you'll never need that. Unless you're extremely bored and you've got guild to kind of throw away. You want to go in your house, talk to your Moogle, you get a cutscene about Moogle. Crap. This is your home. We take care of the houses and your items. We totally don't rub our butts on all of your belongings. Also, you have no furniture. You live like a hobo in a house. I don't want to learn about any of this crap, but if you do, go right ahead and learn. And he'll even give you a second chance to go back and learn. I'm sure. I don't care. And he'll do a little dance, make a little love, and, well, make a mess on the carpet. So you get your mug safe, which stores stuff, uh, your decorations will go in here. Storage is based on what decorations you have and the amount of storage space they have in them, which is kind of neat. Mog locker, you're not really going to have yet. Mog satchel is a thing. Mog sack you need to buy. Mog case is something that you're just given. And you got the two wardrobes. You don't have the other two wardrobes without paying $2 a month extra for them. So, on that. Delivery box, which you can send things to other characters. Or you can get your deliveries from the auction house. Change job, self-explanatory. You'll be able to change your job and your support job here. Once you have it unlocked. Gardening can't do for six months or some shit. I don't know. Open mug, you can get people in, remodel. I forget what this does. Changes house style somehow. I'm assuming that works with the second floor once you get that unlocked, which that's going to be a future video because that's the things that need the thing, basically. Yeah, the music is fixed. It's got the festive event music. Do I oh god, this cutscene. And of course, when you zone out of anywhere, you get the cutscene for Rhapsody's of Anadeel. It shows a poorly textured crystal. Special effect, blinking lights. And this very feathery lady. Flop. <sighs> Almost tempted to make a turd in the wind joke there, but I won't. In the year 898, I must make haste and find the master before dots. Oh no, not dots! Yay, it's a totally a, um, oh fuck, thumbnail, I was going to say, but it ran away before I could thumbnail it. Oh well. So yeah, that's, that's that. You get another cutscene when you zone into Sylvina or Mahora. So those are things. I don't want to continue on. I can I could teleport there for free, but I figure I'll just run because it's good to run, stay in shape, that sort of thing. I forget what campaigns are going on soon. So, from what I've read, current, yeah, objective list, tu tutorial, basics, the trove, need to be 45 days old and have a character of level 99, so I'm not going to set that as an objective. Uh, to hear an explanation on it, okay. Trove is a 
I guess Russian roulette style battlefield where you open chests one of them might be a mimic and it might bite you in the butt uh, some of them have stuff in them and one of them has a lot of good stuff in it I guess is the takeaway now yeah, am I getting cutscene in yep maybe Which cutscene is this? Ah, Seekers of Vedolin. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing some of this stuff. And... Alrighty then, cell phone. Totally something... what? I don't know anymore. So yeah, just gonna cruise around Sandoria and pick up the... Home points, brain, brain. Brainy brain, brain, brain. So let's see. Uh, is there anything else really to say about starting out? Hmm. I believe all the home points are marked on your map, so... Let's double check that. Yep, there they are. Oh, even the survival manual is on the map. Well, anyway, as you're collecting these, you want to learn your layout of your area, weapon shops, item shops. It's a random Moogle. Are you an event Moogle? Yep. I don't. I don't want to leave. No, leave me be. This cat here is a quest cat. She'll be important later on. <clears throat> but for now, check and see how much I've got. Sixty gil. Good thing housing is free. Survival manual. You can teleport between these, and they're all over the place. I think there's one in every zone. Another home point registered. I believe you can start trust at level 5, and it's 6 a.m., so it's time for the fireworks to stop and the music to return to normal. Sunbreeze Festival. I may do a guide on that, too, if it's really wanted at all. I forget exactly what's involved with it, but I can learn pretty quick. I'm sure it's not too much different from the previous previous yars of it. Another home point. Do you believe that's the last home point for this area? I want to run up here. Weapon shop there. I sell things that are pointy. And over here is the blacksmith guild. So I definitely want to go in here and that's the mart shop, shop, shoppy part. I can brain good. So you want to go to the not shoppy part. And talk to whomever looks like they're in charge here. Can assume this gentleman. Yep. And they'll give you some crystal synthesis. Kajiggery again. More sparks of eminence, yes. With those, I shall amass great wealth. First great wealth, then the bitches. I think that's the right order. Then probably being broke again. As you do. Of course, there's more records of eminence that will unlock as you do these, but... In the beginning, you're probably not going to have the dosh to do them up. At least not quite yet. You might not even have the crystals to do the proper synthesis either. Because I do believe the level 5 synthesis kit you get for this quest is um, Earth Crystal. Obvious edit point. Obvious not edit point. 
So this one might run a little bit long, it looks like. So, I'm just going to collect the rest of the home points here, show you where they are. So if you get lost, you can find them via your map. There are three in this Port Sandoria area. This is where people used to go to ride the airships. There's also a auction house here. And a random chocobo. I'm not sure why the random chocobo is there, but... There it is. I don't want to talk to that guy. No, no, maybe. me Rawr. That's another home point. Down the stairs, around the bend. Around the other bend. Yeah, there's pretty much a way to the Mog Houses from all the main areas. There's the Mog Houses up that way here. And dinner's ready, apparently. Sure is nice to hear that shouted in the background, isn't it? Lovely. And the shrill voice of death. I mean... The lovely voice of these guys are going to be important later. The lovely voice of the um, something. These guys are also going to be important later. At least for me. Because I hate myself. But I also love fishing. Which I can't do for several days. So anyway. I'm going to end this particular video here. I will probably come back and record some more tonight because stuff and things. I want to get through get through dinner. I want to go and eat dinner if I could brain. And this is going on really 30 minutes now. So look for part two when it's uploaded. Social media links are down below. There's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Minds, and then there's a main web. Ah, there's a person on my face! See you next video. Kroosh.